Hello everybody, this is an impromptu video we're making for you today. Oh, yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, my name's Steve Warren. I'm Fox and we've got and Dean Lee McRae. Portrait yeah. poet and artist Lee McRae. Yes, we have Steve the Bee with the master key. Yeah. And we have <laughs> Lee, my pocket. Lee the Bee, <laughs> who is a swimmer in the sea. Yeah. <laughs> we did two rhymes. Here we are in Greystones, Ireland. And my name is Owen, you may know me. Yeah. And we just thought we'd make a deal. Say hi, these are my two lovely friends. I love these two friends so much. Two of my closest friends, or maybe my two closest friends. Yeah. Uh, I love them. Yeah. So, want to say hi. I want to say hi to you all out there too. I love you all, and I love my two little friends here. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'll put this on my YouTube and Odyssey channel. Yeah. You may share this on Facebook, who knows? Yeah. So, uh, so um, have you anything good to say, have you? Do we have anything good to say? Yeah. What do you think? Only bad things. <laughs> well, here we are in nature, just getting a bit of the sea. They were in the sea. Did you, have, did you just have a nice time in the sea? Yeah, it was cold. It was very cold. So, uh, and it's just still warm enough. The sun is out, but it's not as like very warm as it should be, but, you know, for this time of the year. But you really can um, still uh, soaking it up and enjoying it. Yeah. I'm just in the sun and being on the, the beach, just relaxing and resting, yeah. recovering my energy and just feeling more peace, feeling peaceful, basically, just relaxing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What do you think? Well, uh, I think with what's going on in the world, it's really important to uh, enjoy ourselves as much as possible. You know, and yeah. to share the love and the joy and and um, yeah, be as happy as one can be. Peace, work on our own happiness and our own mental and emotional state of well-being. Be as loving as kind as we can be. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Be as loving and kind and, as we can be. Yeah, and not get sucked into all the yeah, the fear and propaganda yeah. and bullshit like that's yeah. out there. Like you know, mm -hmm. and I think we're like a lot yeah. of people are just kind of um, um, being, being sucked in by a lot of uh, what the media is putting out there and then it's creating a lot of like. Fear and anxiety in most people, like you know. So, I think you need to just kind of not believe all the bullshit that's out there and just get out more and have fun and enjoy your life where you can. And, uh, Focus yeah. on health and a lot of positive, positive uh, thinking, basically. Yeah. What I hear Stephen say there, don't get consumed in like yeah, and creating, lower vibes. Creating and man maintaining our own health. Creating and maintaining our own health. Yeah. How do you like to do that? If you were to like, if you were to share or suggest that to somebody, how would you suggest potentially to create and maintain um, health, yeah. holistic health, or your health? Fruits, berries, and melons. You know, by yeah. eating them, and keeping fit, training, running, swimming, yeah. doing whatever yeah. you can. What do you love to do the most, early? What's your favorite things in the world and for health as well? Oh, well, I love to sing and play the guitar, and I love to run the mountains, and you know. Just being in great company like yeah, yourself, yeah. you know. So yeah. sing and play the guitar and being in great company, run up the mountains. It's just a bit cold at the moment out of the sea. Yeah. Been there for a good while. Like to swim in the sea. Connecting, <laughs> the, like, uh, connecting with people on the same wavelength and the uh, same path and journey in life. And, you know, eating the same fields and into the same, um, doing the same uh, things, or, like, you know improving ourselves and more work on being better human beings in this mad world that we're living in. <laughs> so uh, being better human being, like self-improvement or self-healing, self-growth. Self self yeah. Um, yeah, like, like, you know, just, you know, just doing what, what's right for us and what's right in our hearts, like what we want for ourselves. Like. No. Living true to ourselves instead yeah, of following the crowd. Our own, our own alignments and what we want, like making the right choices and not being influenced by others around us. Like, yeah. Know, like that. Maintaining self, yeah. a sense of self strength or self autonomy. How do you recommend people like don't follow the crowd or uh, don't follow what their parents are trying to tell them or what the, their, their friends are trying to get them to do? If you don't resonate with like co copying others, you just have to listen and trust your own heart, yeah, yeah. don't you? Your own in I know. intuition. Mm. Like, yeah. you know? That's good advice. I like that. Yeah. Listen to your own yeah, intuition. Your own intuition. It's as I pull up a post there. Your own inner intuition is a higher intelligence speaking through you, 
two of you to the wall. And your heart never lies. Your heart never lies, yeah. yeah. And I guess intuition in your heart feels good, isn't it? Oh, Whereas when you're trying, fantastic. When you follow the crowd, you know deep down in a way it doesn't feel good, and maybe you're like betraying your 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 honest, authentic truth. You know, like I think our feelings can be a signpost yeah. of whether or not we're going the right way. If it feels bad and it just you know it doesn't feel right to you, then just listen to our emotions and see what yeah, feels good. Yeah, how we feel. I listen to our feelings. Yeah. And living then, with integrity. You know, yeah, living. With, yeah, in integrity. You know. What's going on there, is it? No battery, still recording, but yeah. Close. Well, uh, yeah, just basically listen to our feelings. Our feelings are, 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 are in our guidance, sat in our system. Yeah. They're like, you know, guide us through this universe, this earth that we're living in. Yeah, yeah I'd, ag I'd agree with that. Try Huge extent, massively. Like, kind of focused on in, in your, um, what do you call it? In your, um, in your uh, heart and stuff like that, you know? Simple living from our hearts things, simple. yeah it's simple because when we don't listen to our hearts we feel bad emotionally and as, as again like we just said like listen to our feelings is a signpost when we're kind we feel good but when we're unkind we feel bad so it's good to always be, ask yourself like how are we feeling and does our actions feel good or does our thoughts feel good or does our words feel good like both to ourselves or to others because we speak about ourselves to ourselves and we speak to other people so just like Understanding how we feel will determine if we're in alignment with our higher self or if we're in a more alignment with our ego or our pain body, our past trauma. What do you think, Lee? Absolutely. Yeah. In alignment. Yeah. And nature's a great healer. We, we all love nature and we know it's got a lot of healing energy. Absolutely, yeah. 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 So, um, nature's, um... Nature, n nature never lies, you know. What you see is what you get. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the light of God is within within nature all the time yeah you know, pure honesty yeah you know inside ourselves you know we just have to connect with that more and more now especially in these times yeah you know generate the joy as much as possible yeah within ourselves and with others you know? yeah pure honest and truthful like children young like children and nature and animals right and within ourselves, our ultimate truth is pure, honest, and simple, and full of love and light. Yeah. yeah. So, like, um, thanks for your lovely. Worry about like love everything that. out there is working out for us all. I have nothing to fear. I don't fear anything. What we're going through now, like you know, things like I know in my heart, I can feel that everything's going to be okay. Like, you know, everybody out there is expecting some massive big um, thing to come next. You know. For those who are awake, they're not expecting. They feel there's people out there that feel that something's on the way bigger after this, like you know, lockdown. Or that's the lockdowns that are lifting now. But I believe if it is some something that is big that's going to happen, we're going to come out good on the other side. Of yeah, it. stay we're positive. Winning. We're winning, we are. They say we choose our timeline, so we can choose what we want to experience in this lifetime and participate but participate from love and optimism instead of fear and negative energy or hatred yeah. and act from love and imagine and envision and expect positive things to come because yeah. infinite things can happen I, i've read and heard uh it doesn't have to be the negative outcome like many people think we don't have to buy what everyone else well not everyone but some people only think you know we we're, can follow the good path folks we're the star soldiers star walkers yeah the, star talkers yeah we're the troopers <laughs> Well, we're the nature nature folk the nature fairies <laughs> the leprechauns and the, the angels earth is like an angel academy and we're like angels yeah. in practice we're winning we're winning yeah definitely winning and there's we're no one who's winning. losing we're not trying to fight against anyone because that's a more ego and separation consciousness and um, mm -hmm. thing when we try and like create enemies and us against them and all that sort of stuff that doesn't work out it doesn't really it truly doesn't we want unconditional love and care for our, our so-called enemies which but not to have any enemies so that's the way to like what like unity consciousness and um higher timelines that feel better for all of us like a brighter future you have to like care for everybody including your enemies it's not about conquering it's about like caring and wanting to hold hands and uplift people up the, up the ladder who are lost and maybe acting bad you know yeah. like the way you might care for your children and uplift them if they happen to make a little mistake you don't punish them or try and kill them or conquer them we don't want that for the cabal either, so. No. 
fire timelines are more loving and and very caring and together. There's never nothing to fear in this life, you know. No, fear is not real. It never existed. Only in your mind. That's not real, like you know. So. Yeah, I know what you're saying, yeah. So, so love is the ultimate, but like fear is a, it's kind of a, one of the things that's made to, to navigate through the physical world of physical form that's temporary. Yeah. So uh, another question, like another let me see, what are the topics we'll do quickly that's interesting and exciting? So food is energy and what we combine with our body becomes our energy. And we can either have a higher energy and a higher vibe or a lower vibe. And we want higher vibes, so we try to be careful what we mix with our bodies and where we put our bodies and what we put our attention on, yeah? yeah That's what we were all doing, aren't we? Yeah. And be careful. And Lee, it's an exciting thing that Lee's doing today. He's starting a 90-day juice feast. That's his intention. So, has just in his first bottle of orange juice. It's divine. Beautiful gift. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. So, when you connect with the earth, when you connect with nice natural food, or you connect with barefoot or the sea, or you connect with the sun, all of that's like very high vibe and healing and positive. Yeah, and when you have thousands of of uh, stones on your foot, it's, it's very nice. <laughs> natural exfoliating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, been a nice video. Well, uh, yeah. Well, well. Anything else you'd like to add or share? I don't know, it's just what else could you say? Yeah. Now here, really, <laughs> Lee shaking here. I'm, I'm shaking really because I've been in the cold. <laughs> in the sea the, for so long. The sea was so cold today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're shaking. Yeah, yeah. He's a brave soul, brave person getting into the cold sea, but he loves it. <laughs> mm -hmm. One thing I like to say probably is that we all have different body types, and I'm easy to walk barefoot, super easy all day long almost, and he's sensitive for doing that. But I'm sensitive to the cold. So we're all different. <laughs> so we don't we don't have to one one thing that's wise is not to expect other people to be the same as you physically, mentally, emotionally or spiritually. We all are very unique and just to love and accept and appreciate each other's uniqueness. And not to try and demand or expect others to be the same way as you, you know. So I hope you're all enjoying the day out there folks. Yeah. We love you all. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about anything, everything's gonna be fine. We're the winners. Peace and love. We're all winning together, okay? One love, one family. Yeah. <laughs> We're the star walkers, star talkers, star soldiers. Yeah. We the, the poop troopers. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, oh, peace out. <laughs> Bye, have a lovely day. Lots of love. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you met my two wonderful friends. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> bye bye.